Hi guys, um, just want to share a quick update with you guys. This is my Smart UPS 2200. So I started getting a red indicator for me to replace the battery. So I brought the two batteries out. So this is these are 12 volt batteries, uh, 17 amp hour, and uh, when connected together in series, that's yeah, 17 amp hour each of them when connected in series it makes it 24 volt battery so as you can see over here you've got positive and negative connected in series and this is the output where you have the anderson connector and i've got the other one um this one was later replaced because the other one of this one got damaged it went down it wasn't working properly so uh, let me show you that one there it is so this has been dead for like one year plus now so i bought new set of yuasa you also i'm not sure i need to check on the side so i bought this one to support this one but now um this one both of them are completely dead as, can, as i said they are connected in series now the reason why i'm doing this video is because a lot of people are still buying this apc ups and they're not sure sometimes they buy it without the battery and they're not sure what the configuration is and how to set it up so basically on the inside of the bottom here you have two connectors where you're going to connect this anderson connector you've got the other one on top of there so you've got two 12 volt batteries connected in series and you've got another two connected in series and they are parallel together uh, through um, um, the uh, the APC UPS connector on the inside. But you don't need to worry much about that. So long as you understand the battery configuration, which you will not see anywhere else. You will not see it on the manual. You will not see it anywhere online. And because I've also searched on the YouTube, I've not seen anything. That's why I decided to make this video for you guys and i don't want to make it a long one so basically you need two of them 12 volt 12 volt connect them in series another 12 volt 12 volt connect them in series use your anderson connector and um, you'll find the slot on the inside connect push the first one to the back connect it there the other one to the front here you connect it there so it should be that basic now if you are still confused you're not 100 percent sure i will tell you what you need to do so let's say you want to be 100 percent sure that you are um um you, you you're connected the right battery configuration now open up the top just as i've done here now and um, i'm gonna um Put this side to the floor so that I can show you the two chargers on the inside. And there you will see either 12 volt or 24 volt. In this case, I've got two 24 volt modules there that is charging. So that is where you would definitely know that you're using the UPS you uh, you've got is using a 24 volt uh is using a 24 volt system. So let's get started with this. So now as you can see, um I've stuck it on the side let me try to use my other now these are the two modules i'm talking about let me see how clear this can be now let's take these two yellow cables on the side now if you can zoom in properly here there you go so if you look on top properly, you'll see 24VDC. And the second one on the side as well is 24VDC, though there's a black cable covering it. So that is how you get to know. And I think that is the charger. Okay. I'm trying to get this black one away. But if you look at it from the other side, yeah. It says 24 VDC now you should be able to see both of them those are the two black charger I suppose or I will call it module because I don't want to mislead anybody so those two modules will tell you that the battery configuration is 24 volts 
So I hope this helps somebody. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.